Well, I'm live again, and I'm at 97.57 feet. Not that my bull would be up here, but there's a slight chance he could have rim rocked around the side. And I want to leave him alone for a little bit, um, if he is with his cows and he's still alive. Uh, I know I got one lung for sure, and it's beat me up pretty bad. I'm going to look for the next uh, two full days. <clears throat> I came up here kind of clear my head just a little bit and give a little bit of time. If I give him enough time, hopefully he'll expire and hopefully he's with his other, other elk that he was with whenever I shot him. If not, we'll see what shakes. I don't know. <clears throat> it's been 11 years since I've lost a good one like that. Good anything, really. And tail on me again. But maybe if I got out of the clouds, it wouldn't be so bad. I'm bumming. I hit him right. If uh, any of you shoot IBOs or ASAs, I had about 15 inches of uh, 12 inches at the least arrow in him. So I don't know where he went, man. Bumming. That's uh... It's 4 o'clock, I hit him a little bit after light, so it's been a lot of hours. I got one little sanctuary area I've seen him into. I'm gonna try to sneak down through and see if he isn't laying in there. But I want to give it till uh, enough time that those elk could get up and start moving on their own so I can sneak around him a lot easier. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to do my best. Try to find them. And drop back down and hit those pockets again. Do it again tomorrow and the next day. Until I find them. Peace out.